wiki how to find things you have lost. One, try to remember the last time you had the item. The last time I saw my grandfather with his memory was two months ago. It danced on his tongue as he taught me about gardening, about how you can never predict which plant will be weakened by weeds. Two, think of everywhere you went since you lost the item. My grandfather spends most days ransacking hell. Hell is the heat of our crowded breaths asking why he no longer remembers us. There are two things to do when looking for the item. A. Try to get in the mindset you had when you lost the item. My grandfather was a patient man, but patience is useless to a man being pinned to a target by a clock. Each family member waters the parched mouth of their search with a can of anger, in hope it will hasten the growth of answers. B. Be positive and relaxed when searching for your item. When my grandfather transforms into Edward Scissorhands, we force spills down his throat to detach the blades. Three, retrace your steps. I asked my grandfather when he first noticed his loss of memory, he said, it could be that time. I was catching up with a friend and the wind was a vulture snatching words from my mouth. It could be that time. I was ironing my tie for work, and Mona reminded me I had retired from the computer firm years earlier. It could be that time. I hid in my room for days, after the mirror called me, an intruder. It could be that time. I went for a walk, and my legs felt like two faulty compasses, until the dark green painted mama put shop told me I was never far away from home. Search thoroughly for your item. I led my grandfather to the tomato stew pot in the kitchen and prayed for him to inhale memories. Grandma says the aroma of food is a nest where vivid memories of when it mingled with us is stored. The smoke from the stew, thick with Maggie cubes, rose up to his nose like a sky lantern released by a grieving loved one. And my grandfather became a trigger spilling with memories. He told us stories of Sundays when his children and we, the grandchildren, gathered to feast on jollof rice and plantain. To keep the triggers pouring, I begged him to search my face. Though I do not resemble him, I can recite back our conversations in his spitting image. Five, ask for help. We have prayed to God for his healing to arrive quicker, made it clear. We don't want to be lab rats used to test the stretch of faith. We asked the doctor for help, and the doctor claimed this loss can never be recovered, and neither can the body. Call me pessimistic, but what difference does it make anyway? Man can only delay death, not stop it. Six, take a break. My grandfather has stopped searching for his memory. I tried resuming the search, but he refused. He does not remember what he is looking for.